Hello, my name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to make a twin of yourself in Adobe Photoshop. So what I mean by making a twin is you're going to make a double of yourself in the same picture. Here. Um, and, uh, see, just like this picture right here, so in order for you to do that, you have to take two pictures. Just like this, see? And this picture is going to be making it look like I'm pushing this person up. And you're going to want to drag them into Adobe Photoshop. Now, the thing is, you cannot move the picture at all. So it has to be like on a tripod or on a something still solid. Okay, just dragging them into Adobe Photoshop. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to, you're going to have two tabs. Take the Move tool, click on the second tab, and drag it. Hover over the first tab, and drop it. Now you gotta reposition it to the part where it fits. Um, let me just extend this a little bit so I can see. Okay. Now you can just delete the second tab. Open the erasure tool. Now you wanna go in the top left corner where it says 106, where it has a black dot. You wanna wanna put it on 106 pixels. Um, only because that's easier for you to use. Otherwise, it would be really small or maybe even too big, depending on how you lose it. See, and you just want to erase it. Erase the part where your body was. And now all I'm doing is just erasing these little... the up layer of the picture. So what this does is it only erases the upper layer so this layer this is the background which is locked so it cannot be erased so you don't have to worry about you know erasing the back picture okay let me just fix that right there just get the back and see how you kind of see it mess up so I'm just gonna erase that to where it looks like nothing happened all right and then I think I got my whole body then all you want to do now is hit file Save as. I'm going to save it on my desktop. You can name it just like twin. And where it says format, you're going to hit, uh, click it, and then you're going to go down to JPEG. I mean, you can put it on any other format, but I am just want a standard picture, so I'm just going to save it as a JPEG and hit save. All right, and we're now done. All right, thanks for watching, guys.